Ian, look! A treasure map. That's not a treasure map. Oh, but it is. No, it's not, Jeff. You just wrote treasure map on a piece of paper. I can tell you drew this. You signed it here in the corner. That's today's date. Oh, but it is. Legend tells of a mountain near here full of treasure. All you have to do is solve its riddles and the treasure will be all yours. Fine! I'll do it myself then! Super Solvers, a collection of edutainment video games for kids around the ages 5 to 9. Its sole purpose was to educate little kids in math, social studies, and critical thinking by means of exploration and interactions. This series was published by a company called The Learning Company, which was started back in 1990. It's one of those software companies that you hear about. You know, the ones that start out in a basement and then they go on to make millions of dollars. They're most known for their educational titles like Reader Rabbit and Carmen Sandiego, which are still sold in retailers today. But among those games is a hidden gem from my past, Treasure Mountain. Now, Treasure Mountain is often the kind of game that you would find on some sort of compilation disc. Something kind of like this. Except it's not this one, I lost that one. Luckily now the game is just abandoned where so I can just go download it again. But I wouldn't have even known about the game if I hadn't originally played it in school first. Just imagine you'd walk into a classroom and see a computer like this! And that was exciting! Because computers were the realm of infinite possibilities, infinite unimaginable possibilities. There were no rules, you were just waiting. Just waiting for those words from the teacher. Scheduled computer time. Then when the schedule was out, you would run over and check for your name. Aw oh, man! Why does Jenny get to go to the computer before me? Critics held my recorder playing skills. They said it was pretty good for a fifth grader. Also, I beat her ass at the spelling bee. She's got nothing on Space Hammy. Anyways, I'm gonna be going on some epic adventures. I'm gonna need some practice first, so let's play. The first thing that you're gonna notice when turning on Treasure Mountain is that your ears are bleeding because this music is really bad. <laughs> So let's take a look at what we got here. The Master of Mischief has stolen the crown and the hidden treasures of Treasure Mountain. You, the Super Solver, must find the treasures and take them to the top of the mountain. Hidden keys can open the gateways up the mountain. So this is the bad guy. The face of pure evil. So bad. Oh man, it looks like I'm part of an exclusive club! It's something I've always dreamed of. I mean, you always look up to those kids in like, you know, the chess club and the math club. It's probably because of the calculator maker. Well, it's probably not that great of a club. I mean, there's only one member whose name is Rascal. Well, make that two members. Also, there's elves. Let's play. Well, the first thing I notice is that that music is playing again. And I can carelessly throw my money on the ground for some reason. Poof. And I'm getting kind of a Batcave vibe from this, except I have none of the cool stuff that comes with it, and instead I have a lot of empty shelves. One thing's for sure, I definitely look like an adventurer. This guy looks like he took some lessons dressing himself from King Graham. Well, wait, wait a second, it would be the other way because it came out before. So let's head outside and start our epic quest. So I guess what you're supposed to do is walk around and explore. It is a mountain of treasure after all. Suddenly elves, lots and lots of elves. In fact, there's so many, I'm starting to wonder why this mountain wasn't called Elf Mountain instead because they clearly run this place. One of the main goals of the game is to actually catch these elves with your net, but really you're looking for the elves that are holding these scrolls because they're gonna give you the clues that you need to progress. And then you'll have to solve a super riddle or math problem. And let me tell you, they're pretty hard. So let's catch one and solve a riddle. We for it, we for it, yeah! My first math problem. Six birds are in a tree. Four of them fly away. How many birds are still in the tree? Hmm. I didn't realize we'd be faced with so many difficult questions. I'm gonna have to go to my mind place for this one. It's two! And looky loo, I've got my first clue. So now I have to keep my eyes out for a set of four, which shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, <laughs> look, another elf! Yeah! Lick, pool, puddle. They are in many ways the same. Pick the one most like them and I will give you a clue for the game. Lick, pool, puddle? Oh, it's Pond! 
Liquid. Yes, with this clue, I'll have all the clues I need to progress. And that means hunting down the key, which shouldn't be too hard now that we have all the clues. So I'm looking for four short flags. So when you think you've found what you're looking for, just throw down your money. money on you. Maybe you'll get lucky and find a key. And finding the key may be what's needed to progress, but that's not actually all you're supposed to be doing. The clues actually don't lead to just the keys. They actually lead to other treasures on the map. But hey, I got the key. So now I can unlock this tree. Well, I mean, everything else rhymes in this game. Why can't key be for tree? In fact, I did some further experimentation with this key tree theory. Jeff, this is so stupid. Ian, just, okay? I'm just, okay? Well, do it then. <laughs> you know, it's just literally dawned on me how silly this guy's walking cycle is. If I had a crappy camera and it was a bit darker outside, I'm sure his resemblance would be uncannily like Bigfoot. And is it just me or does everyone look like they're suffering from some sort of fatal skin condition? <laughs> well, maybe not fatal, but it does look like everybody's been stricken with chicken pox. Oh, don't, don't scratch it. If it were me, I'd leave the mountain, but let's not make any rash decisions. I have to admit, there is something cute and cuddly about the elves just prancing around. They don't care, just look at them, they just like to skip around. In your little, 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 cute little hats. Well, at least until you come along with your net. Then they look scared shitless. It almost makes you feel a little bit bad for trying to catch them. And not to neglect the entire point of the game, which is to answer the questions. But couldn't you just reach under there and grab the clue from him? He's not gonna stop you. He's trapped. Under a net. Well, maybe our hero isn't as genuine of a person as we had hoped. Because it appears our adventurer takes the elves money whenever he catches them. And let's be real, he probably learned to do that from the elementary school lunch line. Oh man, look, a cave! Let's go inside! Okay, I'm glad we went in there. But that can't possibly be all that's in there. Well, let's see here. Uh, let's just take a little gander around. Uh, there's, uh, there's really, no okay, there's nothing in there. Oh, don't forget guys, this is a no smoking zone. So you can't smoke anywhere near this game. All right, it's time to go up even higher. haven't noticed the ways of travel around this mountain aren't of the normal nature. I mean, first you unlock trees and then climb a ladder. I mean, guess that makes more sense. That's practical, right? Well, I guess when you compare it to riding a water spring up a mountain and then proceeding to do a front flip off of that spring for a 10 point landing, I guess what I'm saying is I can't wait to see what comes next. Flying fish. It was on a sign. Should have read the sign. Ah, oh, dang it, it looks like I've ran out of charges on my net and it's broken now. But don't worry, just pay the toll to the magic rock and he'll dispense a new net for you. One, two, three, four. Well, you can't say this game didn't teach you anything. And it looks like nothing's gonna stop me now from getting to the top of this mountain. One of the problems that I did end up running into was the fact that a clue word could key you into all the treasures on a specific level. Actually, gathering all of the clues isn't even necessary in the slightest. Like right now, my clue word is pine cones, so I'm basically just gonna run around and throw money at pine cones. <laughs> Well, essentially, I'm just skipping the riddles at this point, which is kind of the point of the game. But then again, I'm a smart-ass 25-year-old man who understands logic on a different level, so I think we can let it slide. Still, when you're at your worst, though, you'll probably only need two of the clues. <laughs> oh yeah, we got the green key, and it's time to go to the final level. We have made it far on this mountain of treasure, and now the final puzzle lay before us. We have to get the master of mischief and, and do whatever it is we do. You know what? Let's just go. Well, it appears I'm in some sort of keep, so I better keep moving. It looks like this ladder's really the only way to go. Oh, it ends. No, no, no way. It can't possibly mean for me to- Oh, yep, it does. What is this? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Are we doing an action scene? Is this an action scene? Whee! Yeah, let's keep climbing our way up to the top. Just a little bit higher. Okay, it's a dead end. And my head collapsed on itself. Oh, and I grew an arm. Good. 
So wait, where am I supposed to go then? And I must have missed that memo on the part where you could jump. I seriously have never had to use it yet, so I just figured that out. And not only can you jump, you could do a double somersault. It's a pretty impressive feat, especially carrying all that treasure. So wait, did I just miss something? There has to be a way to get up. And there we go. Great, since the camera doesn't center itself when you're on the ladder, I couldn't see the ladder on the right. Is there a freaking drunk Lakitu in charge of my camera? I would like to know. Aw oh, yeah, we're finally there. We're finally at the top. Let's see what happens. Dear Journal, I realize now that I could never be a treasure hunter. Giving away all your possessions but one to a chest at the top of the mountain just doesn't make any sense to me. In fact, it's pretty dumb. No, it's really dumb. Also, a four-leaf clover that can wiggle its stem at you is pretty disturbing. I'll take this new experience to heart, even though I feel like I didn't super solve anything. Though that guy did seem pretty pissed off, and that's hilarious. All that I can hope for now is that I can recoup this lost time and get back on track. Also, Rascal sucks. Thanks for watching, guys! I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to share it with a like and subscribe. If you want to stay up to date with anything that I do, be sure to follow my Facebook and Twitters. Links in the description down below. And if you want some more videos to watch, I got two more of them right there! Just click the annotations here and they'll take you right to them. So you can click them, okay? To tell you watch more videos, you have to click the videos. But you probably knew that already, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult your intelligence. Uh, you so smart, I'm so dumb.